So question 5-2, repeat problem 5-1 uh, with the following principal stresses obtained from equation this. Okay, so uh, with the information that we know is already ductile, but I think it's important to list it out, right? Ductile usually uh, the, excuse me, usually deal, uh, dealing with yield stress, um, but it'll usually deal, uh, dealing with ultimate, um, right? Because, you know, but it'll, it breaks over here. And then yield usually, you know, have that right. This is yield ultimate. Um, so and yeah, one is bigger than zero point zero five or equal to, and one is smaller, brittle smaller. Okay, so this one is easier than uh, five point one because we're already given the principal stresses, right? Um, and we should know that from the book that if this is like if there's always one in a in a plane stress. Then there's always one that's going to be equaling to zero. So in this case, switch to a deeper color, maybe purple. So yeah, this would be like number three would be zero, and etc. This would be uh, two equal to zero, and this would be three equal to zero, uh, two equal to zero, and. Uh, one equal to zero, right? It's all, there's always a zero between, you know, and one, two, three. It just depends what you're given with. Like this, both of these positive, and then it must be zero. The last one, the smallest one, or for example, these one, both of these are negative, so the biggest one must be zero, um, and etc. Okay, and we're using distortion energy von Mises basically, and maximum shear stress theory. So for, I mean those. Equations are listed in the book. Um, I mean, I can present it here. Let's see, maybe use this color. Yeah, Let's use this color. So, while Mises, or usually denoted as a, a stress prime, is uh, a to minus stress of a, which is b plus b square, one over two, or X or Y's, right? Or um, principal stress A and B, right? Per, I mean, sorry, principal stress one or three. Okay. Um, since we're giving a uh, principal stress, that means the shear. Uh, that also means the uh, shear stress that equal to zero, right? Because it's principal stress. So we can only use this equation. Um, straight up from the book if we're giving principal stress. If not, then you have to use the uh, the transformation equation, I believe, the, the, the equation that we learned before uh, moral circles, and, and you transfer it into principal stress, and then you apply it uh, into, the, into the equation. Or you can use moral circle, doesn't matter. Works both ways. Okay, and the other one, oh, also we're finding uh, factor of safety denoted uh, denoted as n, so sy that's yield. Uh, we're dealing with ductile materials uh, divided by the uh, Wamis stress, and the other one, which is maximum shear stress (MSS), that's uh, we're dealing with a shear max, which is uh, one minus two, or in also if you're dealing with more circles, then it's going to be one minus three. Right, divided by two. Um, the biggest one minus the smallest one divided by two. And the uh, uh, factor of safety is yield uh, divided by yield over two um, and, and uh, shear max. Right, yeah. Um, and the reason we're using a shear max from the book is because maximum uh, shear stress happens at 45 degrees, right? So at 45 degrees in moral circles, that's 90, right? And in 90 degrees, then, well, if you're in a circle, then this is shear max, right, in moral circles. So that's how we know it. And also, this is R. So yeah, the biggest one minus the smallest one gives you the diameter and divided by half, and that's also R. So that's why we're having shear maxes. You know, biggest one minus the smallest one. Biggest principal stress minus the smallest principal divided by two. Okay, and of Mises dealing with string energy, 
I'm not going to go through the proofs. I think it's in the book, but usually you won't get tested on the proof. Okay. Um, so yeah, then for the rest of it, it's just plug and chug, right? For example, uh, let's do, let's do A. Um, then, oh my, so let's do the shear, uh, to the uh, maximum shear stress, so M SS. Uh, the biggest one is 100, and the second one is zero, right? And divided by yield, which is 350. Uh, no, sorry, the other way around. My bad. Um, 350 divided by two, and uh, biggest one, 100 minus zero divided by two. So as you realize, both of these have a division of two. So you can like cancel each other out, which is just 350 divided by 100, which the uh, factor of safety is 3.5 from MSS. And using one Mises, uh, that would be, actually, I'm just gonna do stress prime. Uh, using the equation that's given. So that's 100 square minus 100 times 100 uh, plus 100 square. So yeah, that and square root of that, which gives you 100. Um, and it's a uh, factor of safety equals yield uh, 350 divided by 100. And that still gives you 3.5, right? Everything is in megapascal, so we don't have to uh, you know, worry about units in this case. And for B, MS, uh, which is, let's see, the biggest, so we yeah, are still 350 divided by two. The biggest one is 100. Uh, the smallest one is negative 100, right? So that's 200 over, two, so yeah, divided by these. So this is 350 divided by 200 megapascal, uh, which is going to be 3.75. Right, okay. So, yeah, I think you, got, you guys are gonna get this, right? Uh, like the bottom, which is uh, shear max, you, you always deal with that, you know, if you draw the moral circle, uh, it doesn't matter which one is zero, but you always use the biggest one, which is principal stress one, minus principal stress three. This is principal stress two. And yeah, this distance divided by two gives you R, right, which is also a uh, shear max. Okay. Um, so, yeah, don't just use 10 or like 100 minus 100. Like, there, yeah, it, it, it's that's a mistake. Um, you have to understand the equation that's given in the book. Like, what does 1 and 2 actually mean, right? It's not just, oh, it's A and B, but it's actually like the biggest and the smallest principal stress. Okay, um, keep going with our calculation. Uh, still, 100 square minus 100 times negative 100, again, plus negative 100 uh, square, uh, square root. That's going to give you uh, 137.2 megapascal. And then n equals 350 divided by what we got. 173.2, right? And you will get a safer, factor of safety um, of 2.02. And as you can tell that this is bigger than this one, right? For me, for this one, they are the same, but for these two, they are different. And this is because um, if you know about this graph, right? Um, If you know about uh, this graph, as you can tell, like um, the uh, dotted lines is von Mises, and the straight line is the um, is the maximum shear stress. So maximum shear stress is more conservative, right? It's it's I guess it's safer, right? You have less chance of breaking if you're implementing a maximum shear stress. Right, because like um, this uh, uh, Vomesis encounters like 
possibilities that's like over here, right? In one Mises, those outside of the SMM, it's still acceptable, right? We still count as they are good. Um, and also include what SM, S, uh, maximum shear, MSS includes, right? But as an engineer, we're trying to have the lowest, I mean, as uh, the lowest uh, uh, factor of safety possible, yet still making sure that it's going to work, right? I mean, there's no no need to make it 100, right? And uh, safety factor equals 100. I mean, yes, in some cases, but I don't think it's, it's, it's not efficient, right? You have to waste a lot of materials, waste a lot of man money, um, and, and, you know, huge amount of time to design some, something with a factor of safety of, uh, of that high. So it is good to use MSS, right? Because it's more conservative. It, you know that it's not going to break, but also at the same time, uh, we're trying to have you know, smaller N as possible, which is, that's why we have Mimesis or even normal, right? It, which encounters even bigger uh, area of you know, accepted designs. Okay, um, going to C, uh, still MSS, um, and yeah, and, and, sorry, and, and factor, so like over here, right, where they equal to each other, which is like basically it's happened at one of those corners, right, when von Mises and MSS met, um, and what N is, is just the first one divided by this, right, and then this line, like the, uh, the, how much percentage that it takes uh, equal to, like, sorry, if this is A and this is B, then it's the distance of from O to A divided by O to B, right? If A is on top of B, then that's a factor of safety of one. Okay, um, going back to the calculation for C, well, Mises, I mean, sorry, uh, maximum shear stress, that's 350 divided by uh, the biggest one minus the smallest one, smallest one in this case is zero. So 100 minus zero, both of these divided by two, again, cancel each other out. Uh, that's still a uh, factor of safety 3.5. And um, going over here, right? So we use, um, let's see, for, for this, then we use A and B, right? For well, Mises. Um, Let's see, so in this case, I mean, sorry, we, we use A and B, right? So while Mises, like the A and Bs, is implementing like these, but for shear stress, you always have to encounter the whole, the, you know, including the zero. So for here, uh, we use 100 square, right, minus uh, 100 times 100, I mean, sorry, 100 times 50, yeah and plus uh, 50 square square root of that, that's going to give you 86.6 uh, megapascal and 350 divided by 86.6 equals NN equals 4.04. Uh, .04. Okay. All right, let's uh, keep going. Going to D, um, MSS, that is 350 divided by the smallest one is actually negative 50. So 100 minus negative 50 uh, over, you know, divided by 2, top and bottom, cancels out. Uh, that's going to be 350 divided by 150. I um, believe that is going to give you uh, 2.33. And for well, Mises, um, that is, let's see, 100 square minus 100 times negative 50 and uh, plus negative 50 square, 1 over 2. Um, that is going to give you 132.3 megapascal and n equals 350 divided by what you got over here. Uh, which I believe is 2.65, right? Factor of safety is uh, 2.65. And the last one, 
MSS equals 350. The biggest one is zero. The smallest one is negative 100. So zero minus negative 100. Uh, divide, so equals 350. Again, divided by two, divided by two, cancels out. Equals 100. Uh, that gives you 3.5. And um, for the bottom, on Mises, it's, uh, let's see, so A is 50, so negative 50 square plus uh, negative 100 times negative 50 and plus negative 100 square. Let's bracket these. Uh, to the, you know, square root that, I believe this will give you 86.6 .6 megapascal. And um, for n, that is going to be 350 divided by the von Mises stress that you just obtained. n, in this case, gives you 4.04. .04. OK. And that's it. So it's relatively simple, uh, mostly pl plug and chug. But you know, I spent some time talking about the equation and also the uh, stress graph to, I hope, I hope that makes sense. I hope that gave you guys a better understanding of what we're actually dealing with instead of just you know putting numbers in an equation and and present with an answer, right? How we're you know we're engineers. We have to understand the the equations and the, and the numbers. Okay, so yeah, hopefully this is helpful. Good luck on your studies, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.